Hi, I'm Zack. My sister's the queen bee at school, and I'm her nerd brother. Yeah, just let that sink in for a sec. My sister's widespread popularity is proportionally opposite to how many times I've been stuffed into a locker or made to act like a dog in front of a crowd of students who would point and laugh. I was so remarkable in the complete opposite way compared to Lucy that that became my name. Off the rack, Zack! I suppose it only makes sense in the context of the popular kids called my sister Gucci Lucy because her friend group has two girls named Lucy and that Lucy was the less fashionable one and so she's just called Lucy too. I kept telling everyone that their nickname for me was too complicated to explain but the moment I opened my mouth I'd find my face being pushed down to the guys' toilets. Even my parents never really paid attention to me. Life at the Castro household revolved around one offspring and one offspring alone. And it sure as heck wasn't me! Lucy was my parents' pride and joy. She was the bright star. And I was just there. The one thing that's good about my sister is one of her friends. Her name's Emily. And I met her for the first time when I turned six. And Lucy threw a party for her pet rats. I don't remember what it was, but it was something stupid that she made up so my parents would throw her a party and forgot all about my birthday. So yeah, that day, all Lucy's friends were invited. There was a bouncy castle, a magician, a pony, and a clown. Emily was running from the clown, and she hid in the bouncy castle. And that's where she found me. I said hi. She said hello back and we sat there for about an hour in silence. I couldn't stop staring at how pretty she was. I knew in my six-year-old heart I wanted to marry her someday. But before I could even say another word, Emily saw my heart filled eyes and bolted right out of there. One day, Lucy went snooping around in my bedroom, and tragedy struck when she found my secret notebook. She only needed to flip to the first page to find doodles and drawings of Emily's face. And on the next page, I wrote my name and hers next to each other. And all around, our names were hearts. And above it were the words Mr. and Mrs. Oh, I was done for! Lucy photoshopped an old pic of me when I went to a book fair, and I was holding up my signed copy of Shame of Crones to look like I was holding up my embarrassing notebook. She shared it everywhere. Within minutes, my DMs blew up. The next morning, I went to school dreading having to face Emily. Until it got worse. All over campus, copies of the photo were stuck to the walls. Lucy was giving more of it away. And the moment she saw me, she dragged me into the middle of the cafeteria and loudly announced my arrival. Look! Lover boy's here! Come, Emily! Don't you want to say hi to your boyfriend? The crowd oohed and laughed. Emily tried to escape, but my sister grabbed her and forced her to get closer to me. Emily didn't look like she wanted any part of my sister's sick, twisted games. She mouthed, I'm really sorry to me before the worst happened. Now, Emily, what did you want to say to my dumb brother? <laughs> Lucy, I, I really don't think we should... Now, now, Ems, you know what we talked about. Better to rip it like a band-aid. I really don't want to do this. I'm sorry. Emily! Emily slapped me and she looked more shocked about it than I was. You're... Gross! Can you, like, stop following me around? It's so creepy! You have a creepy face, and your penmanship sucks! And who even draws hearts around people's names anymore? What, what are you? A, a, a girl? I was totally and utterly humiliated. Not to mention everyone got all that on their phones. By the time the bell rang, even the neighboring schools were calling me pathetic. 
I was crushed, and I made myself become invisible. I was done with girls. Years passed, and I moved on. I barely even thought about Emily anymore. I dove deeper into my hobbies, and that's how I met Shay. We met at a cosplay convention. I went as Niccolo, and she went as Sasha Browse. We took a photo together, and she kissed me on the cheek. The rest was history. Shay was a shy nerd like me. We had lots of hobbies and things in common, and over time, I fell in love with her. She wasn't as pretty or as hot as all the other girls, but she was my girl, and I loved her for being her. One day, Shay was visiting, and Lucy and her friends came in to find us watching a movie, cuddled up on the couch. Lucy tisked loudly. <sighs> I guess movie night's canceled, girls. My loser brother and his loser girlfriend are hogging the entire house. They all went up to her room, but Emily stole a few looks before she followed, and something told me trouble was afoot. Emily started coming around the house more often than before, and she would find some random excuse to keep knocking at my door. One time, she brought her laptop with her, saying it was broken and that I needed to help her fix it. But when I checked it out, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. Emily used that time to sit way too close to me and to lean across the table so I'd smell her perfume. Now, <clears throat> I'm just a guy, and it proved very, very difficult not to fall for her tricks. The only reason I never made a move on her was because I made myself think of how my girlfriend would feel if she found out. But Emily wasn't the only one who was suddenly taking notice of me. Because M was so popular, all the other girls who idolized her started noticing me too. And whenever I went, Emily went. And where Emily went, her army of minions followed. Each one of them would sigh with longing whenever I looked their way. Lucy, too, smelled that something was going on. She got really annoyed when she figured out that the only reason Emily was coming round the house was to see me. So she plotted against me. She put Operation Sabotage into motion. First, she dumped out my facial wash and replaced it with foot cream. I guess she was hoping I'd smell like a foot or have a breakout of acne. Instead, when Emily came close to me, the scent just drove her wild, and she pushed me down on the couch and tried to kiss me. I knew my sister's plan failed when I heard her scream in frustration by the stairs. She then spread a rumor about me that I was an avid fan of Renaissance fairs. She thought it would make people think I was a dork. Instead, the next Renaissance fair I went to, all the girls from our school were in attendance, even Lucy's friends. Frustrated by her constant defeat, Lucy took my clothes while I was doing laps at the school swimming pool and cut holes in them. As soon as I saw the holes, I knew it was her doing, and I didn't want her to get any sort of satisfaction. So I wore them and walked out of there as if it was normal. The next day, everyone at school wore their clothes filled with holes. I inadvertently sparked a fashion trend that the school spent two months trying to get rid of. Whatever Lucy did, it backfired, and it only boosted my popularity and made me even more attractive to Emily and her friends. So, Lucy decided she'd had enough. She lost her followers, and now her loser brother was about to usurp her throne. I was becoming the most popular kid in school. At the science fair, I was supposed to present an experiment to the crowd. But when I got on stage, a video began to play behind me. It was Lucy, and she had filmed every single instance of Emily and every other girl in school flirting with me. She'd been documenting it all this whole time. And I guess it worked. Because when Shay saw the video, she started to cry. And when Emily saw that her fangirls attempted to flirt with me when she wasn't looking, she slapped one of them. And that girl slapped her back. And another girl slapped another. An all-out war broke out in the auditorium. Girls clambered on top of each other, pulling hair, screaming war cries. It was 
Wild! Like watching a documentary of animals fighting over prey. And the prey was me. Even the teachers ran for their lives. Until finally, Shea pulled the fire alarm and the sprinklers came on. We all stood around like wet dogs. The fighting ceased and Shea got up on stage. I'm not sharing you with anyone. You have to make a choice. Me or her. Why just her? I want Zach too. Yeah, loser. You're not even pretty. Why would Zach choose you over literally all of us? Shut up! You don't even go here! They're right. Why would I ever pick you? You're a total nerd. You're unpopular. You cut your own hair and you wear super thick glasses. Everyone in the auditorium held their breath. Emily stood up, triumph in her eyes until... And those are the reasons why I would pick you every single time. You loved me before any of this. You saw me before anyone else did. Want to get out of here? <gasps> no! <laughs> that was when the principal came to the scene with five security guys behind her. Emily and Lucy were taken away, and as they were being carted off... Emily yelled and blamed my sister for being the reason why she lost. She ended her friendship with Lucy that day. As for my sister, she was suspended for inciting a riot. The only reason she didn't get expelled was because my dad had to pay for all the damages thanks to their favorite daughter. Lucy became a pariah at school. Nobody would even talk to her after everything she did. She exposed everyone and betrayed her friends. And for that, Lucy became the lowest on the totem pole while I gained the status that she lost. In our yearbook, Shay and I were pictured kissing, and underneath the photo were the words, Hashtag Couple Goals. <laughs>